Hi, I'm Cindy Collins with Cindy Collins Designs um, and Pink Hat Polishing, my pink hat. I am going to uh, show you a table full of items that need to be polished and or repaired. Uh, some is silver, some is brass, some are figurines, some is jewelry, and I will also take some stills for the befores and some stills in the afters and, and then show them side by side so that um, you can actually see the difference. Um, I'd also like to, in some cases with a few of them, I may uh, do a short video and show you what I'm doing it and how I'm doing it, um, especially in some of the more complicated um, things that need to be done. <laughs> and while I have this opportunity, I'd like to tell you about uh, my shelf at Treasures at the Corner. It's on the corner of Highway 80 and Farm Road 9 in Wascom. They are open from Wednesday to Sunday, uh, 11 a.m. No, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Um, and I will be doing polishing there um, on occasion. I have a website. It's called PinkCatPolish.com. And you can go there to see a different schedule right now. Um, I'm scheduled to be polishing on March the 5th. I will post other places that I'll be and when I'll be there um, on on Facebook as well. Um, bring me your stuff to polish. You'd be surprised the difference that it makes. See you. Okay. As you can see, there's all these different things, and I am going to go over them one by one. Um, here is a ring. You can see it definitely needs not only polish, but it needs to have some things fixed. Here's another ring. This one is in not too bad of condition, but still needs some polishing. This is my husband's class ring. Not too bad. But, ooh, there's a nick. It needs to be fixed. Um, here's a medical alert bracelet. Here's a, looks like a Coca-Cola penny is what it, what it was. Anyway, I don't know if that's real or not, but we're going to polish it just the same. A whistle. This whistle needs a lot done to it. This Avon dish. This is met in Avon. It definitely needs some polishing. Next we move on to this little set. This is a little set of camels, little brass camels that come from India. They're not too bad a shape. They're pretty tarnished though. Um, let me see all that on there. That will soon be gone. Same with this guy. On of there. And then this little set of Indian teapots. You see all the tarnish on that. Mm-hmm. It's like little nesting dolls. And then, of course, here's this little teapot also. These were made in India. And I'm pretty sure they're brass. Bottle opener. And I like it. I think I've got to do some repair on it. So we'll see how that comes out. And here's a mortar and pestle that I've already started on, but you see all those divots and all of that and all that there? Well, I had started taking them off, but there's more to be done. So I still have some more work to do on this. It's not ready by any means. Okay, here's some candlesticks. And as with the other ones, before I even start to polish or take tarnish or anything off of them, I will um, 
clean them up. This one's got some wax on it. I have to get that off of there. And then this is a Christmas ornament. Um, it's a reindeer with some sleigh. And I started working on it, and then I thought, well, how about if I just show people the before and after and what I've done. This, I've, I've already started on a little bit of it. Um, not very much. You can still see that there's quite a bit. And then, last but not least, here is this thing of coasters. Now, I did already wash off some of this, but you can see there's a lot there that needs to be taken care of. And there might even be some pitting that I won't be able to do anything about. And then this tray is a silver-plated tray. Very heavy. Um, let me see if it's marked anywhere. Anyway, the stuff that's on there now came from, from polish that didn't get totally cleaned off of it. This is a tray that was given to my mother um, as a prize. So, 